Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss how to evaluate logarithmic functions. Now you're going to see I already circled the four. That's important because this four is what we consider our base for a logarithmic function. How you read this is log base four of 64 equals to some number. Now what you're going to do anytime they ask you to evaluate something like this, you're going to equal it to y, x, v, doesn't really matter which letter, as long as you equal it to something. Now the reason why I circled this 4 and this y is because what you're going to do is you're going to go around. Now I, cons I consider this kind of going around the world. Now the reason why we do this is because we're going to start off at 4 at our base. So it's going to be 4 and the next thing you cross is the y. y, the next thing you cross is equals to 64. 4y equals to 64. So what they're asking us is they're asking us 4 to what power is going to give us 64? So maybe you know it right away. And if you do, that's great. But if you don't, that's fine. The next step that you're supposed to do after you write it out like this, going around 4y equals 64, you're always going to turn your bigger base into your smaller base, if you can. Now, so what that means is can you turn 64 to 4? And you actually can because this gives you 4y equals to 4 raised to the third. And that's because 4 to the third is going to give you 64. Now the second that you get the same base, that's your goal because you're going to just cancel them out and you're going to get y equals 3. And that's going to be your final answer. So anytime they ask you to evaluate a logarithmic function, what you need to do is you need to actually first change it to exponential form. Circle your base, go around 4y equals 64, 4y equals 64, bring 64 down to this base, which is 4 to the third, cancel out the 4's, you get y equals 3, and that's your final answer. So now we're going to take a look at another example. Log base 3 of 81. So the first thing I'll notice, it's not really equaling anything, so I'm going to equal this to y. I'm going to circle my base. I'm going to go around the world, 3y equals to 81. So I'm going to go, well, 3 to what power gives me 81? Maybe you know it, maybe you don't. If you don't, well, that means you're going to change the bigger number into the small number. So now I can change 3y, and I'm going to change 81. 3 to, to what power gives me 81? So then this is the part that you have to actually think about it. 3 to what power gives you 81? And hopefully you said 3 to the 4 gives you 81. So the second you get the same basis, cancel them out. You get y equal to 4, set the exponents equal to each other, and that's your final answer. Alright, so we're going to take a look at two more examples. Log base 5 of 125. First thing I'll do, I'll set this equal to x now. Doesn't really matter which letter. I'll circle my base, I'll go around 5x equals 125, 5x equals 1 over 125. Then I'm going to go, well, this looks strange because now I have a fraction. You have to remember the only way that you're going to get a fraction is if this x is negative. So what you're going to do anytime you have a fraction, you're going to bring this up. You're going to change this to 5x equals to 125 raised to negative 1. Anytime you have a fraction, you're just going to change that to a negative power so that this can come back down and go back up. So always remember, fraction, change it to a negative and bring it up. Now your next step is, well, you need to make sure that 125 can be broken down to a smaller base. So you're going to work with 125, bring it down. 5 to what power gives you 125? Hopefully you said 5 to the third. So 5 to the third is 125, but I can't forget about that negative 1, so I have to leave it there. But then after you just simplify this. Anytime you have an exponent to an exponent, you're multiplying these. So this is going to turn out to give you 5x, 5 to negative 3. Cross these out, because they're the same bases, and x equals to negative 3, and that's your final answer. Okay? And the last problem, log 9, 27, equal it to y. Circle your base, go around. 9y equals to 27. Now a problem like this, I want to turn 27 to a base that, that's like 9, but the thing is I can't because 9 to the second power is already 81. There's no power that gives me of 9 that gives me 27. When that happens, you have to actually rework these both. What base does 9 and 27 have? Hopefully you said 3. 3 to the second will give you 9, and 3 to the third will give you 27. Multiply these, so you're going to get 3 to the 2y, because remember x1 and x1 you multiply, equals 3 to the 3. Well then, once you have this, you have the same basis. So the next step is just cancel them out, solve it, 2y equals to 3, divide by 2, so y equals to 3 halves, and that's your final answer. 
So sometimes you'll have a problem where you just can't bring down one number. You have to bring down both numbers, and that's fine. Change both bases to a similar base that they both have in common. But you have to remember, equal it to a variable, go around, and then work it out. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching.